In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Runway's insane Act 1 facial animation tool. I've generated loads of different characters and pushed it quite far to see what it can do with facial animations. So stay tuned to see the awesome results. Okay, let's get into it. So I found out that I got access to Runway's Act 1 tool, which by the time you're watching this video may be available to everyone right now. I filmed a bunch of different facial animation videos and different scenes, so I'm just going to run through all the results that I've got and some of the limitations. When using Act 1, you want to make sure you've got a good driving performance video, like this video here. So you want to have your face kind of centered in the shot and make sure there's no distracting background and you want to try to limit your movements in your body. So don't use your hands or bring props into the video. Hopefully in the future they allow you to use your hands and it would be great if you could use a full body recording to capture full body animation. Hello everyone and welcome to Runways Act 1. Okay so let's jump on to the website. So as you can see Act 1 is being shown on the home page. So you can either go into more details which will come up with this documentation tool which will give you everything you need to know about Act 1. So let's have a quick look. And as you can see, the cost is 10 credits per second, and there is a 50 credit minimum spend. So if you do the maximum output of 30 seconds, you're going to use 300 credits. And the resolution is a bit higher than 720p, and the frame rate is at 24 frames per second. And if you scroll down, it will give you examples of what will work and what won't work. So as you can see here at the moment, non-human characters don't work, but you can use humanoid looking characters. And you can't do stuff like side profile views and standing far away. So make sure to check out this document as it has loads of useful information. Okay, so let's give it a go. So just click try it now and you'll see a little preview of how your driving performance video should look. And then if you look down below, you can see all of the characters that they've generated for you. Now you can either use one of these or you can upload your own. So they've got everything from photorealistic to 3D animated characters. And interestingly, they've got a dog, so you can use animals if they have human features. And here we have 2D animated and illustrated. So I'll upload one of my recordings and I'll show you some results with some of these different characters. Plus I'll be using some of my own ones that I've generated. When you upload your video, it will say detecting human face in video, just to make sure that there's enough information to track from. So in this video, I'm testing out different expressions. So I'm trying a happy expression video in this one to see how well it can animate happy expressions. And it's done a really good job at nailing those facial animations. It's got the really subtle movements of each part of the face that really sells the kind of emotion behind the character. Very, very impressive. Even in the different character styles from 2D to 3D and realistic, they all look really good. They all stay consistent within their own styles, which is very important. If you want to see some advanced techniques I've been working on using this act one, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. So here are a few examples of different scenes I've done. So I've got this funny meditation one. Okay, time to meditate. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. Who was that? Ooh, that is a pungent smell. Whew. Now I wanted to do a test with a kind of children's book narration. So I generated these two images of these old men reading a book. And I wanted to create that cozy nighttime story kind of feel. And then I recorded myself reading a short story and then changed the voice in Eleven Labs. And mixed in with Act 1, these are the results that I got. Now let's read a nighttime story. In the heart of the Green Valley, Jack heard legends of a magical white rose atop the tallest hill, which bloomed only once a year. Desiring a unique gift for his father's birthday, 
Jack embarked on the crime. With every step, gentle breezes whispered encouragement. At the peak, he discovered the radiant white rose, glowing under the sun's embrace. Jack carefully picked it and descended, his heart full of joy. Handing over the rose, the petals shimmered and filled the room with a sweet melody. Everyone danced, celebrating the magic of nature and Jack's loving gesture. To be honest, I'm blown away by these results, as it works to act one's strengths. As you don't need too much moving around in the image, it's all about the expression from the reader's face. Now what you can actually do is use that close-up footage and crop it onto a larger image just so that you get different shots. So this is a trick to get multiple camera angles if you need to. I also thought it would be a good experiment to see how well it worked with singing. So I generated this track in Udio. I then embarrassingly mimed the song with the kind of facial animation that I thought would fit with the singer. I then generated an image of a female singer I then added my recording and the photo of the character into Runway, and then stitched it together with the Udio song. And this is the result. It's done an incredible job at making those facial animations seem so believable with the song. I probably could have pushed it a bit further, but these are just some simple tests that I'm doing. It works really well with odd looking characters as well. So here are a bunch of characters that I generated using Midjourney to see how well it would work with Act 1. And as you can see, they look awesome. So this just opens up so many more possibilities of using your own custom character and bringing them to life. Another limitation I've noticed is if you create a character with a lot of detail in their facial features, then if you use a close-up image of their face, when you get the exported video, from my experience, it loses a lot of detail when the character's face starts to change. As you can see from the image, there's a lot of detail in the face, but then in the Act 1 video, it still looks good, but it loses a lot of those finer details that I wanted to keep in there. So it's probably best not to do very close up detailed faces. I've also done a test with some smartphone footage to see how well that works with Act 1. So I shot this video on my phone with just a blank background and the lighting is just pretty average. And then I used this character in Act 1 and here's the result. So this is a test to see how well Act 1 works with smartphone footage that has kind of average lighting. How does it look? Does it look okay? Okay, that looked pretty good actually. So it shows that you don't need to have the best lighting and setup to get really good results. I would say just make sure that you're framed up correctly and that you're not moving the camera all over the place and try prop it up on a tripod or hold it really still. So this is the end of the video and I hope you can see how powerful this Act 1 tool is. The quality of the facial animation is just insane. And this is just the start. So hopefully over the coming months, we will see things being added to it and it evolving into a bigger and better tool to use. If you have any comments about Act 1, please leave them in the comments down below. And it would be awesome if you could like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you want to check out any of our other videos, feel free to click the image you can see on screen. Thanks for watching.